Death and true art are inseparable. Art is the only thing worth living for. But in order to live for it, one must die to it. A majestic creation consumes a man whole. It usurps every molecule of his faculties. It consumes every drop of his humanity. Art is not for the compromising sort, for it is born of blood more than sweat. The artist bleeds onto the canvas. He disintegrates into the pages of the literature he creates. He cannot serve two masters. The fingers have an intelligence all their own. They need no input from their human lord. A masterpiece comes at the expense of a human life. For the artist must die in order to create it. For the art uses him as the raw materials. It paints with the blood in his veins. It vibrates with the beating of his heart. The artist is uncontrollable. He is tempestuous. He is volatile. He is tumultuous. He is, at once, a tortured soul. It cannot be otherwise. To quote the title of a discourse from time past, art is the domain of the madman. The ultimate canvas is a man's life. To make one's life a work of the highest art is the ultimate achievement. But in order to do so, he must know the boundaries of his humanity. He must realize who he is and what he is not. Through an uncompromising elimination of non-self, he reduces his being to its elemental parts so that there are no more interferences to his experience of life, so that life pulsates through him, shaping him as it will, so that when he sees, he becomes sight. When he feels, he becomes the feeling. Having overcome all interferences, he has direct access to life itself. He is no longer troubled by the mind. He no longer lives an ordinary existence. For the one who once lived has been created anew. Of the old that once existed, nothing remains. The snow has fallen fresh and light. The moon has settled into the horizon. For the artist that once was is no more. And the art is all that remains.